Let's get started by explaining what each basic type of polymer delivery method looks like. Dry is just that. 100% active product in every package represents the highest possible value for viscosity yield. And at DiCorp, we also include a scoop in every dry package to standardize mixing and minimize waste. Dry product represents the lowest environmental concern as well as it does not contain any oil or surfactants. The downside to dry product is that in a low shear mixing environment, it can be challenging to disperse. Liquid polymers come in two standard forms, suspensions and emulsions, and it can be hard to tell the difference between the two. A suspension is a dry product in a viscosified oil. An emulsion is a semi-hydrated polymer emulsified in oil and water with a surfactant. The laws of physics make it difficult to achieve more than 35% active product in any liquid emulsion or suspension, which means 65% of any product you receive has limited benefit. Low shelf life and the tendency to settle or phase separate also is a downside to liquid products, but they are valued for their ease of use and rapid yielding characteristics. The third method of polymer delivery combines liquid and solid phases to maximize as many positive attributes as possible. At DICORP, we call this the mole method or mix on location easily method. By utilizing 100% active polymer like EarthPro ProPak D or Hydrovis D combined with EarthPro TurboCut makes a product pourable like batter. By doing this, we increase the active ingredient concentration to over 50%, while retaining the benefits of rapid dispersion, limited waste, and no transit or shelf life issues. By using EarthPro TurboCut as the liquid phase in the mole method, you benefit from having a premium vegetable oil-based lubricant that increases ROP and bit cooling while also decreasing torque and friction. Let's have a look now at what the mole method looks like compared to mixing dry polymer directly into water. I've measured out a small amount of dry polymer that will add to our water at a low shear environment. As you can see, under low shear, we get a lot of clumping, which represents a lot of wasted product. Some product does get into solution, and you can see that it's already started to gain viscosity. But again, you can see that we've wasted a lot of product through clumping or fish eyeing. To demonstrate the mole method, we start with a clean cup with no water in it. On the rig, this would be any container that doesn't have water. We add equal amounts of dry polymer and turbo cut. just enough to get it to a batter type consistency so you can pour it out of your container and into your low shear environment. As you can see, even under low shear, 
Utilizing the mole method disperses the dry polymer very quickly in water, allows it to viscosify very quickly, and has very little fish eyeing. Let's review the three different methods of polymer delivery. The first is emulsions and suspensions. As we can see, they are very fast mixing, fast dispersing, and give you fast viscosity. On the downside, emulsions and suspensions are very prone to settling in transit and in storage, and therefore have a limited shelf life. Having everything in one pail also represents limited versatility in the field. You can only add more or less of a product, but you essentially have two products here that you can't control individually. Dry products are very cost efficient as they are 100% active. Their shelf life is exceptional since they stay in a dry state when they're in the pail. There's no settling issues and they're generally considered to be more environmentally friendly because they don't have any oil or surfactants in them. The negatives to a dry product, as we've seen, is that they are very hard to mix. They have a tendency to fish eye and are very hard to disperse. Their versatility, much like emulsions, is low because you only have one product to work with. With the mole method, we have increased our versatility since we are using two separate products, turbo cut and a dry polymer, and we can change the ratios of how we use them to better suit our needs in the field. Cost efficiency goes up, transport costs go down. You're transporting or using much more product in the same volume as an emulsion or a suspension. It's very fast mixing, just like emulsions, and we don't experience settling because we mix it and use it almost immediately. Shelf life is exceptional, again, because we're seeing it come to the site in two different packages that are both not going to settle. And, again, with improved freeze-thaw capabilities because we have them in two separate packages arriving on site. For more information or if you have any questions regarding this video or any other drilling fluid related concern, please contact DICORP today.